neighbors grief-stricken tonight, leaving behind balloons, teddy bears, and flowers. The growing tribute of support outside what has now been deemed the house of horrors. The parents accused of taunting their 13 children for years, pleading not guilty today. Our tennis reporter Anthony Pura is in Paris as we learn more about the family's nocturnal life. Anthony. This display has grown immensely here in the past few hours in front of this now infamous house. A gesture by neighbors who wish they knew something so horrible was happening in their community. It's heartbreaking. This house of pain and torture now bringing out the best in the neighborhood. My son actually, it was uh, his idea. He wanted to give a little toy, the little wind up blue one. A small gesture in light of unimaginable horror. David and Louise Turpin accused of starving and shackling their children for years inside the house. This time, it was the couple in chains appearing in court. Authorities described them more as monsters than parents, saying they only allowed their children to shower once a year, punishing them with frequent beatings and strangulation. The kids so malnourished, the oldest of the children, a 29-year-old woman, weighed only 82 pounds, and David Turpin accused of touching one of his youngest in a lewd way. And we would never let anything like this happen if we knew that there was 13 children living in this house in these conditions. Neighbors now realizing the Turpins ran on a strange schedule. Investigators say they slept during the day, woke up at night. They lived like vampires. They didn't want to be seen in the day. And no one would have ever known if their 17-year-old daughter didn't escape to tell police. Neighbors now learning the teen spent two years planning her move. They had been trying to plan to escape for over two years, right around the corner from me. And it hit me so hard because we didn't know. The Turpins also homeschooled their children, but authorities say the kids lacked basic knowledge. Some had no idea what an officer was when police arrived to rescue them. If we knew, we would have been there to help them. If convicted of all the charges, the Turpins are facing 94 years to life in prison. In Paris, Anthony Perra, 10 News. Thanks.